G'day. This here's a inflatable kid swimming pool from Intex. Looks like it's got a sunshade. Yeah, this little canopy thing. It's removable. It's a removable sunshade. It's about 62 by 62 by 48 inches or over one and a half, one and a half and 1.2 meters. The box iterates that it's, it's just one pull in here. Let's see. Looks like it's blown up with one of those valve caps, either a malvet or find some kind of pump, maybe like a bicycle pump. This box was manufactured back in April. See the little stamp. Otherwise, this looks like a really generic box. On the side here, it says we got about 78 gallons, or looks like we have almost 300 liters to fill up with. And got some kind of no-tox label. Well, should be safe if you ever want us to have a gnaw at it. Let's see what's inside. Maybe you sell the plastic on this one. So the box says this one's a seaside or a beach side design. Here we got some critter on this one, walking around in the inflatable. Sand castle in the background. What's this one? This thing looks like a little sheep with a bandana in itself a little inflatable raft some fish an octopus or maybe a miniature kraken ready to underwater some of these people on the beach ring around it. Here's a massive air hole. You fit your finger in there, or maybe a thumb. Get your lips around that and then just inflate it. This looks like the sunshade. So it looks like the sunshade attaches to the base through hook and loop. Somewhere. Here we go. The instruct, the warning label, the warning papers, the safety rules. Ignore that. And plastic water watching instructions or safety tips. Doesn't. Doesn't feel like it's a sticker. But it looks like you can cut the tags off. Pierce a hole in this and stick it somewhere. Or maybe there's a hook in one of these. This looks like a little repair patch in case you bust a little hole. So far, I've only found one in here, then it's probably just the one. So we'll come back. After this has all been inflated and see how big it actually gets. It's 
So this hole turns out is not actually the inflatable inflation hole, it's actually the drainage hole when you're all done with it. The actual inflation hole, the one where you mouth and inhale, exhale into, is this one stressed over here. It's, a, it's the blue thing. So it's got the caps, inflate caps and the, the sealer. So, so far on the canopy, it looks like we have three valves. This is one for the arm, where he started on blowing up the main field. I'm gonna pinch it. Okay, so you gotta pinch it when you blow into it. So the instructions or the warning. Apparently, you do well, read into them a bit. Give them this kind of language. It does warn you about the max fuel line here. So the water is still filling up here, and we're trying to get it just below the max fuel line. But this is how it's all set up. The canopy is attached with a hook and loop on each of the corners. And that's what it looks like on the design here. So with the moderate water flow, so far this has been about 20 minutes and it's halfway, halfway. So maybe a third. The water is at an angle because this is on a slope grass. You probably want to find a flatter surface if you want to set it up so that the water is easier to tell where it is. But at least this looks like it's the shallow end or the dry dock area. That's where the little baby can little splish splash around. See you next time on the Cut After Night.